Leave it to a musky fisherman to be disappointed when he catches a trophy fish of a different species. My name is Brian, you're watching Angling Anarchy, and in today's video, we're going to take a look at some of the bigger walleyes I've come across while musky fishing. And if you want to, in the comments below, let me know the biggest walleye you've ever caught while you're chucking musky baits. For all the years I've been filming musky fishing, there's one thing I notice whenever I or anybody else in the boat catches something other than a musky. It could be a giant pike, it could be a big walleye, but every time we first see the fish coming in and realize it's not a muskie, there's a little bit of disappointment. I've been trying to get better at this. Uh, I've had people comment on videos where I'll catch a 40 inch pike and as soon as we see it and get it in the net, everybody's like, oh, it's a pike. It's still a beautiful fish. It's still a trophy fish. So we should still have some respect for it. But there's just something about not catching a muskie when you're trying to catch a muskie that gives you a little feeling of disappointment right, right off the bat anyway. So I thought it would be interesting to go back in the footage that I have and take a look at some of the bigger walleyes that I've caught while muskie fishing. Now most of the walleyes I've caught while muskie fishing have come off rock spots while I'm throwing crankbaits. It's not always the case though. There was a day I can remember before I was filming where I caught three walleyes all on a hellhound glide bait. It was really interesting. These fish were coming up out of eight, 10 feet of water and just slamming this bait that was, you know, a foot down maybe. So that was a little bit of a unique day, I would say, because as I said before, most of them come on deeper diving crankbaits that are getting down at least five or six feet and typically on rock structure. So let's take a look at three of the nicer walleyes I've caught while musky fishing, the largest one of which was a 29 and a quarter, and I believe all these fish come on Eagle Lake in Ontario. Yeah. There's a fish. There's a fish, Jim. Oh, geez. Huh? It's a walleye. Oh. I'll just grab him. Wow, that thing hit like a truck. I swear I had a 45 inch muskie there. Nope, just a. Just a nice walleye. Just. Oh, I'm sure. Get my hand out of there. Oh boy. Yeah, that's a, I don't know, 23 or 24 incher probably. See you, bud. Wow, he must have hit it going the other direction because I'd have swore we were into something there. <laughs> yeah, the old eight inch mini. Fish, fish. <laughs> Walleye. Are you kidding me? Wow. <laughs> yeah. Got a 
precarious position with the hooks here. Yeah. There we go, we're musky hunting and we got a trophy walleye in the boat. Oh. <laughs> the old Custom X 8 inch mini 26 and a half. Not exactly what we're looking for, but a nice fish. There she goes. All of those are beautiful walleyes, especially that 29 and a quarter. Those are trophy fish. I'm sure you could hear a little bit of disappointment in my voice uh, every time we finally saw what we actually had on the end of the line as I was pulling those nice pig walleyes in. And like I said, I've been trying to get a little bit better at appreciating just catching fish while we're out there fishing, especially now that I'm filming a lot. It uh, Every fish is special. Every fish you can get on film uh, is, is something really cool. So I'm really trying to appreciate not only the muskies, but the big pike, the big walleyes, the, the bass that you catch every now and again while you're muskie fishing. And it just gives you a little bit deeper appreciation once you've got some cameras running in the boat of being able to actually capture something on film, whether it's a muskie or any other type of fish. That's a wrap for this week's video. I will be fishing muskies down in Illinois unless Mother Nature absolutely explodes on us and, and screws up the days. But hopefully you'll be seeing some fresh musky content in the near future. I'm so excited to get out and start chasing uh, the toothy critters. So let's hope for good weather coming up here. With that, 
I thank every single one of you for watching. I appreciate you all so much, and I'll see you on the next video.